Hey there everyone, I hope you're having a great day and welcome to my channel. I am Paoli and I'll be happy to be joining you YouTube community with some stuff. What I know and what I like. Makeup, movies, candles, Chris Pratt, anything. And I'll be happy if you would want to join me. I decided to start this channel with a makeup haul because I recently rediscovered YouTube and there were so many beauty beauty burgers. So many of them. A little something about this video is I actually tried to record it on Sunday. It was a complete fiasco. Honestly, I'm going to upload a, a blooper real gag, whatever, and it's just so awful. I don't even think it's that funny, but I need to do it so I can feel at ease with myself, with being brave and talking to you guys through a camera. I'm having balls here, so yeah, I need to make fun of my whole fail, huge ass fail of trying to upload, or not, not upload, trying to record a video and just failing miserably. It was so awful. Like parts were missing and everything. So here we go. Let's get through this and you can see the bloopers later. The first thing I bought at Sephora was the Give Me Lip, Give Me Lip thing. And it has quite a lot of stuff. I actually love lipsticks. My true real obsession are lipsticks. Oh, look at them, so pretty. So tiny, too. I mean... <sighs> In this kit, only this Smashbox is going to be full size. The rest are deluxe or mini. The Naked Revolution lipstick, Naked, is the tiniest. The color is pretty amazing. I really like it. It's pink. It's just pink. I'm no beauty guru, people. I'm just gonna tell you what they look to me, what they look like to me, and it's pink. The Marc Jacobs, I loved this one, it, uh, it has glitter on it, like a little bit of glitter on it. It's pretty tiny, this is only more like a little touch of color, and if you don't add product, the, the little sponge here, like you can see it has product on, the little sponge will take it away. If it doesn't have any product on it and it sounds awful but here it is next we have this one this is the bite high pigment pencil in Meritage I think this is quite nice I like this type of list of lipstick this is a very pinkish red with a bit of I don't know what would you call it orange I don't know then we've got the Buxom uh, Full On Lip Clean, Lip Clean, the Lip Clean in White Russian. This has a very, like, I haven't noticed any smells on this, like, they're all sweet and nice and everything, you know. But this has a very, very sweet smell, like, very minty and sweet, and it's just basically a very, very, very whitish pink gloss. These buxom glosses are amazing because they have the tiniest plumping effect and they actually feel minty on your lips. I'm wearing it on top of uh, the MAC lipstick A Myth? No, it's not Myth. It's Modesty. Ding, ding, ding. I'm wearing it on top of Modesty and I have a little bit of the NARS in Orgasm. It's the next one. It's a deluxe size. And I don't actually know what the name is. Mm. NARS Deluxe Orgasm Lip Gloss. That's it. I added to my lips just a tiny bit because this is so, this is so shiny and so corally. Oh my god. It's really pretty. It's really pretty. There you see it's, it's right here. It's from Canon on this. So, yep. And finally, the full-sized one. It's the Smashbox in Powder. This is super pink as well. 
these two are the pinkest things I own. The pinkest glosses I own. Not even when I was buying, you know, the... What were these glosses? Smackers! Smackers glosses. Never had I purchased anything so pink before. Uh, it does not smell sweet. I can't see anything, so I'm just going to add it first. Oh my god, this is gonna suck so hard. This is the Smashbox in Pout. And as you can tell by the the other pinkish one, that's the Booksum, Smashbox is pinker. Let's clean this off. I love trying new colors and trying formulas, and if I love something, I will buy it again. I have no doubt. These are great. Great, great, great. And honestly, Glosses last forever. The only one I think it's not gonna last a long time is this one, honestly. Who puts this much product? It's a teeny tiny, mini, bitey size. Okay, let's go. Moving on. Okay, so next I bought the Booksome Duo in Hooligan and Mistress. These have been uh, on sale at Sephora.com for a long, long time. So I bought them. This is Mistress. It's very pink. Jesus, something happened with me and I bought pink stuff. I don't normally wear pink today, but okay. <laughs> it is super pink. So this is Mistress. Very, very pink. Super pink. So pink. Oh my god. And then we have Hooligan. I have a ton, a ton of these box some um, tiny mini lip lipsticks. I think they're good. Like, I have a ton of colors and I that I don't normally use. I'm a big brown mm, lip thing person. I actually love Hooligan. I bought this duo because of Hooligan. So yeah. Good call. I like it. This is the Buxom Big and Healthy Lipstick in Havana. And it was on sale. So I got it. And I love this. Yes. Yes, boo boo. I'm gonna wear this one a lot. Mm -mm. These, these type of lips, mama likes. Give to mama. Love this. So, you know. Yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it. I like it. Keeping on with Buxom because I am a lip junkie and I buy tons of lipsticks and I'm sorry it's going to shine a lot, but who told these companies to make everything silver or gold? Full on lip polishes, yay! I bought two, they're pretty similar shades, you can tell. One is pink, a little more pink, one is a little more mauve and has glitter on it, and this is Peyton, and this is Grace. This is Grace. Nice to meet you. Okay, so I'm going to swatch Grace first. Oh, so pretty. I actually have worn these before, and I think Grace, this one, just looks amazing on top of the Kat Von D Lolita, which I also bought on this haul because, come on, I got the mail. It was back in stock, and I made the right call because it's back out again. It's sold out again, I mean. Then we're gonna swatch. Well, pay turn, pay turn. Then we're gonna swatch. I'm sorry. I think I'm just nervous. So this is Grace, and this is Peyton. Super glossy, super minty on the lips. They add this little bit of pump to your lips. Pretty nice. The beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Lolita Liquid I Love Everlasting blah 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 lipstick, but. But beautiful Kat Von D. I love Kat Von D. Seriously, I love her. When I first got this, like, I got it off the bag. Not the bag, the... The... Box! Box! And I was like, holy shit. I was dragged with the hype. I don't think I'm gonna like this color at all. I think I cried a little inside. I had not swatched it. I had not seen it. It was one of those uh, blindly follow the bat. I was like, yeah, slowly eat that bat. You know, just zombified by all those Instagram pictures and 
those Pinterest pictures and all those videos loving Lolita. And it's my fault because I followed Kat Von D Beauty on, on Instagram and everybody loves this. So I finally bought it. And guess what? I loved it so much, honestly. So, so much. Let me just swatch it for you. These babies, they last for hours. And these, these dry out to the most beautiful matte, long lasting ever. And this is just totally my type of color. I love it. Never leave me. I just saw it today because I went back on Sephora.com and it's sold out again. So, you know, you know, just subscribe, send your not subscribe to me. Subscribe to me if you want to. You can put your email and they send you an email. Like, all of you probably know this, but if there's one of you that was living under a rock and just didn't know and found out recently, you can put your email and they email you when it's back in stock, so you can get Lolita. I'm sorry, baby. Ah, uh, let's start. Ah, uh, how about we go on to palettes, 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 palettes. Let's start with Showstopper. It's from Tarte. It's going to be a little bit, you know, dirty because I made my makeup, like my eye makeup with it today. So this is it. This is the palette. I'm sorry if it's flashing you. It's just the light plus it's so golden. Like I can totally see my reflection. I'm talking to myself right now and you're watching this palette. And I'm talking to myself and you're watching this palette. That's how, how shiny and reflective it is. So we have a blush and we have this whole lot of shadows. They are mostly uh, shimmering and glittery. Only one shadow, and I think it's this one, yes. Um, I am not sure of the names. I, I just this morning, I lost the little plastic thing with the names on it. I do know this is uh, Park Ave Princess. This is it. But this is the only matte shade in the whole palette, along with the blush and the bronzer. I think... I'm not sure the name of the bronzer. I'll just put all the information below for you to see it. I really like it. I did my makeup today with it and it's... I like it. It's good. Next, following on Tarte, I have the Puppy Picnic. This one's golden too. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to blind you. Crazy blind you blind. In here I, I still have the little... But I'm not gonna use it. It's just... Contrary to Showstopper, Puppy Picnic has all mattes except for Glisten, which is the trademark, one of the trademark uh, clay, Amazonian clay blushes. I'm sorry, my brain today is not working. Anyway, I think this palette is beautiful, simply beautiful. You have like all this a uh, pinkish, pinkish colors with a brown, like to, <laughs> it's gonna sound weird if I say contour your eye, but yeah, to contour your eye, and in here you have this uh, very equally neutral um, brown shades, they're just beautiful, and these blush, this blush is just beautiful, 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 it's super glistening, like it has a little bit of gold shimmer on it. That's the main reason why I had not bought it. But now that it's here, <laughs> I bet your ass and going to use it. I love this palette. And honestly, this is just... I want to tattoo this on my forehead. I love this design. I cannot say it enough. I think this... This leopard pink, pink leopard, it's not my favorite, but the name of the palette is Dolly's Wild Side, so it's a little bit comprehensible that they would go like full-on leopard print. Don't ask me why. I actually, oh wow, this is super, super dirty as well. 
Let me give it a little shine. And there we go. And in here we have a little bit more uh, matte shades. Most of these shades are totally, totally glistening and they shine beautifully. But you do have a lot of fallout of the product. Like I had to grab just this cloth and clean it off. This one I used on Monday and it's great. I love the color payoff. It's very... Um, it's very beautiful. It's they're not as creamy on the eye. Once you put them on, they can turn a little bit uh, chalky. Like you can you can tell here. I think they look soft and creamy and beautiful, but it it feels a little bit chalkier. Like yeah, like dusty, and you do get fallout. But honestly, 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 honestly. I'm gonna swatch these for you. Holy crap, oh my god. Like, talking about fallout, I didn't scratch it. And look at that, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a lot of product. Like, serious chunks of product are there. But they're just beautiful. And finally, let me add this one, which is this one here, this one, this one right here, this one right here. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. They're so shiny and beautiful. And I really don't like them. Once I've used them a long time, I will come back and tell you which I loved, which I didn't. Blah, 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 blah. I bought the Parka Princess bronzer. Like, I was not sure. I totally forgot, actually, because I'm one of those persons that just goes into Sephora and starts adding stuff like to the basket and just keeps it there for weeks. I even get emails. Hey, hello, your products are waiting. We're Sephora, we want you to buy them now, bitch. I'm just like, ah, oh, no, I'm not ready yet. It took me so long to make this final shop, shopping, this final buy that I actually repeated items. I got the Park Up bronzer by Tarte. It's the Amazonian clay one. If you remember correctly, yes it does, it comes in the Showstopper palette. But now I have a travel size and I have it good. Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, it's pretty good, I'm wearing it right now, I'm not sure how it looks. I think it's a little, um, prominent. I don't know, it's not orangey at all, it's just... A very, I would say, cool tone, but I see it kind of yellowy. I don't know about you, I think it's just neutral because I've seen so many blonde, like very, very blonde people be like, Oh, yeah, I love it, it's the best. He doesn't like me. It's not like blonde people talk like this, but you know, bad, bad stereotypes. But I like it, I've been using it. I think it's the second time I've used it, and I've liked it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Now, Becca's Mineral Blush. This is Songbird. Like, oh, and it's open. Oh, la la la. I've been really liking this blush. It has a beautiful shimmer. Like, you can even tell from here. Ignore this fatal, fatal um, war wound that I inflicted on it when I couldn't open it the first time. And yeah, it's beautiful. I have it on my face right now. Something I would have to say about this blush is that I just lightly tap my my brush on it and it gets so much product, seriously. Tap it a couple of times before in your hand because if you just go like this, oh mama mia, I put on too much blush. You're suddenly like Cher and the yawn just like, I'm already, I'm trying as hard as I can. You know, it's it's super pigmented, it works like a charm. It glistens beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. I will be purchasing other ones and if you don't know, Jaclyn Hill made a collaboration. We are all going to be enemies like in the Hunger Games when that comes out. We're going to be like, no, no, I need to buy this, give it to me. You'll be crushing your neighbor's internet and or just buying, you know, 15 
we're all gonna buy that blush. It's a highlight. Actually, it's a highlight. I'm so sorry. It's a champagne pop, I think. And it is a highlight. It's not a blush. But I bet that if she made a blush, it would be beautiful as well. Seriously. We have now the Bare Minerals Complex Rescue. It's actually in the shade Ginger 06. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not sure if I really like this. So many people rave about it and everybody loves it. And it's supposed to be so good. And it does feel good on the skin, but I have not noticed anything like that wows me. Mine came by plane, so it's kind of puffed out, like Stan Podolak from, from, <laughs> from Space Jam, you know what I'm talking about, girl. You're from the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. And it's great, but I don't know. In all honesty, I don't know. Here it is. You can see how my skin glistens like very, very subtly and it's just hydrated and it feels kind of smooth. It's not the smoothest, most smoothest. It's not the softest my skin has ever been. Well, let's give it my hands. But it's good. I like it. I just don't crazy ass love it. It's good. It's good. It's not, it's just not for, you know, pulling your hair out if you cannot get it just wait. This is where I should have brought up Jaclyn Hill's whole deal with Becca because this is the shimmering skin perfector in Opal. And I love it. And I want to buy, you know, the compact version. This is beautiful, 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 beautiful. You know this, like, you know this product. Everyone talks about it, everyone raves about it, I'm gonna give it to them. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna kill me. Now here it is. It's just my whole hine, my whole hiney, my whole hands hiney is very shiny. But it just makes your skin shine like a mofo. Shine like a demon. I love it. So we have NARS Creamy Concealer, the Radiance Creamy Concealer. My shade is Custard. Oh mama, is this good? I really like it, but it's very creamy. I do recommend like uh, buffing it out with the Beauty Blender because it is super creamy, girl. This is my holy moly concealer right now. The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Actually, that's the name, Radiant Creamy Concealer. And this is gonna be my favorite part. This was a uh, reward. No, 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 girl. Wait, rewards at the end. About the beauty blender. <laughs> like in black to appeal to my 15, 16 year old self. And I bought it in black, just to you know. I needed a backup. I bought the Sephora Pearl Mask, you know, the sheet mask. Cist Facile! <laughs> Here I said, a girl. And then I bought the When Refresh Mask Travel Mate. In a couple of weeks, I'm going to Montreal. So I'll be taking these with me. And then I'll be trying them out. And I will be telling you what I think about them. Like, I love buying these type of things just to use them on special occasions, you know, on Montreal. So. I'll be using this the day before and be like, oh yeah, I'm fresh as a daisy, baby. This is how we do. And it will be because of this. <laughs> this was a reward. As you probably know by now, uh, Sephora is no longer carrying soap and glory. Oh, I got it, baby. Sephora is no longer carrying soap and glory. But now that you can order it online, maybe it's going to be easier and cheaper. So everybody wins, everybody wins, wins, wins. It's good. I like it. Next, next reward. It was Laura Mercier's Flawless in 5. It has a couple of things from Laura Mercier. <laughs> the first is the Tinted Moisturizer, the Broad Spectrum SPF 20 Sunscreen Lightweight Flawless Coverage in Nude. I'm going to try it. I'm going to let you know what I think about it. Then we have the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder 
in bronze 03. Thing is, I like this. It's it really is matte. Okay. It looks like it could pay off a little bit orangey. It it does pay off a little bit orangey. But I like it. This is the Deluxe Lip Glacé in Nectar and the Foundation Primer in Radiance Bronze. These I did try. I found it extremely bronzy like. But it's pretty, but it's super bronzy. Like I am not that much of wearing bronzy stuff on my face. Like you can see he, here's the matte powder and here is the primer. It's bronzy as hell. As hell I tell like I it's beautiful. It's a golden sheen, like this is this is a this is a, like a subtle shimmer. And then oh yeah, I just love this. You can actually watch the bloopers and see my official reaction, like my official reaction, my first reaction when I grabbed it and I saw it and I was like, yes! Well, it wasn't like that. And my Sofia Vergara accent came out. I just love her. Too much modern family. This is actually the holy grail lipstick from one of my closest friends and you can see why. These are not sticky at all. They're super uh, shiny. They're super lightweight and they have the most beautiful color payoff. So that was it. That was my entire haul. I have been trying uh, to use a lot of products so I can talk to you about them. I will be uploading a video about what I loved and what I didn't. And yeah, I will. <laughs> I think on Thursday, I'm still debating on what I'm going to talk about. I'm thinking... Thursday is going to be all about opinions. It's not a big deal. I would just talk about it with you guys because we're friends now. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, just, you know, hit me up with a like. And if you are curious about knowing where this channel will take you, why don't you hit subscribe? You know where that button is. And I hope to be seeing you soon. Thank you very much and have a nice day.